Okay, so we're going to do a departure here from St. Martin going to St. Kitts. But this is the new airport. It's still under construction. Uh, it's a little bit late, but uh, they'll get it done eventually. It was supposed to be done November 2023. Here it is, February 2024. Here's the check-in area. Very nice. So I've already checked in. I'm flying on Win Air. It's a 42-seater. We've got Delta, everything. But look at it. Very modern. I'm going to go through here and uh, catch up after. Okay, so I just went through that uh, ticket guard there. And now we're headed to uh, security. So I'll pick up once I go through there and let you know how everything goes. Okay, so now as you can see, we're inside this new airport here in St. Martin. Looks very nice. Let me just tell you about the process going through immigration as it stands right now while they're still under construction. So they had two uh, conveyor belts, although one was operational. The problem was there was an extremely long line because Air France jumbo jet passengers along with a Miami United, or, uh, American Airlines flight was departing at the same time. So they were trying to cram everyone through one conveyor belt. But what ended up happening was the conveyor belt that processes the security and scans the bags actually broke. So the conveyor belt was no longer working. So the Air France passengers along with American Airlines and my flight along with several other island hoppers, people were just standing in line trying to get through the American Airlines flight to Miami. The people were becoming very anxious and frustrated because they were worried they're going to miss their flight. What they ended up doing was turning on the other conveyor belt with the scanner and they ended up moving all the bags that were waiting over there. Now that ended up uh, taking about an extra five to ten minutes and then we finally got through and we go through the passport control where they ask a series of questions. So I'm just showing you what the experience is like right now here in March 2024. Like I said, the airport is under construction. It was scheduled to be completed November 2023, but they're still not done yet. And you hear a lot of the construction around the St. Martin Airport. Now, my initial review of this actual terminal is it's beautiful, it's brand new, and when it's completed, I would imagine it's going to be a very nice experience considering the air conditioning in here is super strong. In fact, it's a little bit too cold at times. I did notice they also had a lounge area that they are building, so there will be an airport lounge. I don't know if that's going to be priority pass or if that's going to be for specific airlines. But uh, they do have a Domino's Pizza here and several other restaurants. It looked like they only had one bar, which was a bit surprising, although it was an open air bar. So I guess you could go up there, get a drink and then walk away from the bar. You didn't just have to sit in a closed area. When I say open air, I don't necessarily mean outside. I mean, it's open seating and it's not contained. But uh, they also had some shopping that you can do if you're looking for some electronics. They had some Apple iPhone accessories in there. They also had plenty of other duty-free shopping you can do. So definitely a modern airport. Now, if you're doing an island hopper like I am, I'm going to St. Kitts. You're actually going to be at the gate down below at the ground level. Those are called B gates. So the reason I'm muting out the sound is because it's under construction here and there's a lot of noises like saws and uh, banging of hammers so I'm just muting it. One thing that I did want to say was if you plan to go to other islands be ready to get a lot of stamps and for someone who travels a lot like me that's not very good because I'm eating up a lot of stamps to do simple things. For example, when you come into St. Martin, you obviously get a passport stamp. But then when you leave St. Martin to go to Anguilla or St. Bart's, you also get an exit stamp. Then when you get to Anguilla, you get another stamp from Anguilla. Then when you leave Anguilla, you get another stamp. And when you come back into St. Martin, you get another stamp. And then when you go to, say, leave the island, you get a stamp also. Or if you go to St. Bart's, you have to get another exit stamp 
And then when you get the St. Bart's, they do stamp coming in, or at least they stamped mine. I'm not sure they always stamp, but they don't give one coming out. But then when you come back into St. Martin, you have to get a stamp, and then you have to get another exit stamp. So St. Martin, of those three, stamps the passport the most. Uh, so if you're planning to go to, say, um, those other islands, you could be getting as much as 8 to 10 stamps. So boarding time was 2.15. We've all been just crowding around the last 20 minutes. They have now delayed the flight by three hours. So they took our tickets, lined us up. We stood there for 30 minutes on our feet. Everyone crowded around. And then they said, St. Kitts, sit down. About 35 minutes later, they tell us flight is now delayed three hours so if it's not one thing it's another um, I get it this place is under construction but uh... okay so the flight is delayed again another hour and the plan was actually scheduled to go to uh, Tortola US or uh, British Virgin Islands they've canceled that segment of the route so we're now on another delay. <sighs> so it was the first a three hour delay. Now we're looking at another hour on top of that. The plane came in from Dominica also has maintenance issues. So lots of maintenance issues, lots of issues. I'm being told welcome to the islands. I guess this is just par for the course. All right, we're all take 30 getting us on there a little earlier but I guess they're like when airlines is giving people like free hotel rooms and $20 comp for steaks for the inconvenience for tortilla for the British Virgin Islands freezing freezing in there but yeah we'll see off to Nevis no St. Kitts all right here we are. So we've got the uh, plane here.
Mexico. So we're going through immigration here and then we'll uh, pick up afterwards. All right, so we're now here in St. Kitts and Nevis. I'm at the southern point of the island. Here is Reggae Beach. You can see a plane coming in. There's Nevis. This is St. Kitts. So overall, my final review of the Win Air obviously is difficult to give a positive feedback when the flight is delayed twice for a total of three and a half hours. Lots of issues getting through immigration. Then Win Air didn't tell us that when we arrived into St. Kitts that we would need to fill out a digital form. Some people could say, well, you're supposed to know that. No, I mean, yeah, sure. If that information's provided, I will know that. But they didn't tell us that. So when I got to the airport, the first question was, did you fill out your arrival form, digital arrival form? Then when you fill out the digital arrival form, it's like two full pages. They ask you four times where you're from. <laughs> it's just... Uh, I love these islands. I think they're so beautiful. I just wish that there wasn't so much um, complications to, you know, entry or barriers to entry. I think that it's, uh, it takes away from your experience. But once you're in the country, it's great. I mean, you know, you got beautiful. Obviously, the best part about it is going to be the locals and then uh, the beaches. I mean, but... <laughs> The unnecessary process of going through uh, hurdles and jumping hurdles and being delayed and everything kind of takes away from your relaxing, right? But overall, once you get it done, you'll feel great. Don't want you to feel negative about it. Just want to make sure you're prepared for it more than anything. You know what I mean? Preparation. Make sure you fill out that arrival digital website. They're going to ask you four or five times where you're from. Yeah. <laughs>